Hydrothermal liquefaction has been widely studied at subcritical temperatures for efficient biocrude production. Researchers have found that even at temperatures lower than the water's critical point, reasonable yields can still be achieved with diverse biomass types. Beyond temperature, the role of solvent choice has emerged as a key factor in maximizing hydrothermal liquefaction efficiency. Water is commonly used, but studies demonstrate the advantages of using solvent mixtures, particularly water ethanol blends. Research shows that mixing water with ethanol can boost ethanol yield significantly. This synergy stems from the different solvent properties that facilitate biomass breakdown. Water's high polarity promotes protonation, aiding in the hydrocracking of complex biomass molecules, while ethanol prevents repolymerization by acting as a radical scavenger, reducing char formation. Other solvents such as isopropanol and ethyl acetate also influence yields, with their effects varying depending on their polarity. For instance, isopropanol showed higher yields at lower temperatures such as 200 OC, but performance declined at higher temperatures due to thermal degradation of biocrude. The Reichard polarity parameter of solvents also correlates with yield variations. Solvents with higher polarity, such as water, tended to achieve better biocrude yields compared to lower polarity solvents like methyl tert-butylva. Future research should investigate the interplay between co-solvents, varying temperature conditions, and their collective impact on biocrude yield. This could reveal ideal conditions for scaling hydrothermal liquefaction with mixed solvents to achieve higher yields while minimizing environmental and economic costs. Such optimizations could significantly enhance the practical application of hydrothermal liquefaction for large-scale biocrude production.